Can't imagine myself being basic. I feel like the man when I'm thumbing through faces. Hide all this pain in this blunt, I'm gon' face it. I'm fighting demons, but I'ma embrace it. Take all these scars and I put them in cases. To show all my dogs so how I got to these places. I just want beamers and billies and races. Fucking a wish, but you know we replace them. I just want models for all of my brothers. I want What's up, you guys? It's Bari here, aka B Nicole, back with another video, honey. Okay. And as you can see, your girl got the, you feel me? She got the, she got the inches in today, okay? In this video, I will be showing you guys exactly how I accomplished this half up, half down quick weave. My first quick weave ever that I've ever done. I'm not a hairstylist, I do not do hair, but I did do this and for my first try for my first time see I keep laying my edges and they're just not good enough for me all right guys as you can see I'm gonna start off with freshly blow-dried clean hair I'm gonna comb it out and I'm also going to make sure that it is nice and moisturized so you're gonna see me take my coconut oil and run it through my hair now, like I said, guys, I have never done this before and I am not a hairstylist. So, you will be seeing the flaws that happened along the way. And I will be making sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes that I do. So, right here, I'm going to part my hair in two sections, half up, half down. I'm focusing on the bottom. I want majority of my hair to be on the down part. But like I said, I do not do hair. So the mistake that I made, I'm going to tell you right off the jump, was not leaving a little bit of leave out at the top on the back portion of my hair to cover the tracks. So make sure you guys leave some leave out at the top portion of the back section of your hair to cover your tracks at the end. And you will see how my tracks show and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. But right now, as you can see, I'm braiding up the top portion of my hair to get it out of the way so I can begin braiding the back portion. Now, once again, guys, I do not know how to braid to the scalp because what? Because I'm not a hairstylist. So you're about to see me attempt to braid to the scalp the best way that I can possible. And you can do the same or you can have someone else do it for you. So I'm going to part it down the middle and I'm going to braid two braids to the best of my abilities to make it as flat as possible. You want the back portion of your hair to be as flat as possible so it looks as flat as possible once you begin to put the tracks on the cap. Look, watch me struggle to even grab three pieces of hair <laughs> after I finish the braids I'm going to secure the ends with a rubber band on both sides then I'm going to tuck the braids under each other and bobby pin them up Next, I'm going to take my bald caps. I actually used both of them. I put one on, then I got my got to be glued spray, sprayed it on the cap, make sure the cap was secure and felt like it wasn't going to fall off. Then I went ahead and put my other one on top of it and also sprayed it with the got to be glued spray. 
Then I took my blow dryer and made sure it was all dry. Next, I'm going to take a white colored pencil and I'm going to draw a line where I will be cutting the bald cap so I can begin gluing the tracks onto the bald cap and you're able to see my actual part in my real hair. So now I'm going to take the tracks and cut them to my desired length to the back of my head and I'm going to make sure that I glue them onto the cap in kind of a U shape and you'll see what I mean. I do recommend laying the tracks down while you're putting the glue on and also while you're making them dry faster with the blow dryer because you can see right there in that clip that that would have been a disaster if I didn't. Okay, now you're about to see why we drew that line earlier. Now it's time to cut the cap. Make sure that your cap is secure and glued down to your head. So when you cut the top of the cap, nothing else will move. Be very careful. After I'm done cutting the cap, there are going to be, you know, some loose ends because, of course, you just cut it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Got To Be Glued spray again and I'm going to spray it on the parts that need to be glued down again. And I'm going to also take my blow dryer and make sure that the cap is secure on my head. You want to make sure that each track that you lay on the cap kind of overlays and covers the track that you put on previously and that's how you're going to be able to cover the tracks if that makes sense.
Now I'm starting on the top portion of my hair. I'm gonna section it off and flat iron both sections. Make sure that my roots are as straight as possible. Not really concerned about the ends of my hair because the ends of my hair will be braided up and not seen. So we're not really worried about that. I'm going to use my got to be glued spray to get my ponytail as slick as possible, as flat as possible. And then after I do that, I'm going to redo the ponytail as many times as necessary so I can get the best ponytail possible. After I get my ponytail how I want it to be, I'm going to braid it up, then I'm going to take my wrap strips and I'm going to take my got to be glued spray and wrap my braided portion of my ponytail in the wrap strips so it's protected from the glue as well. Comment down below how you think I'm doing so far. I would really like to know. Also, comment down below any tips that you can give me for next time I do this because I will be running this back. I couldn't get the end of this to stick, so I took a rubber band and I tied it around just to make sure the wrap was secure around my braid. Don't know if that was necessary, but I wanted to be on the safe side. Now I'm gonna begin on my ponytail portion. I'm going to, this time I'm not going to cut my tracks. I'm going to keep the tracks how they are. 
and I'm basically going to wrap the tracks around my braid but going up. After I'm finished adding the track to my ponytail, I'm going to take a portion of the weave and I'm going to wrap it around the ponytail to make it look nice and clean. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below how you think I did. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you tried it for yourself. Mwah. See you later.